people like to give homemade treats this time of year, cookies, nut rolls, even the dreaded fruit, fruit, fruit cake. Do you like fruit cake? Uh, you know, it's funny, I had a friend that gave me one, and I, it sat there for a year, and I gave it to her again the next year. There so. you go, give it back. It's just a joke. <laughs> well, our next guest says, if you don't like to bake, then buy. Welcome Rachel Carlson, Yelp Pittsburgh Community Manager, here with some local food and drink gift ideas. Such a good idea, too, because you mm -hmm. never go anywhere empty-handed, right? Never go anywhere, and you don't have to think about it, number one. And number two... You're supporting local. We got to talk about the parking chair vodka. And I mean, this is just Brilliant. so clever. So I clever. I love the fact that you can buy vodka. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see. And get the best little parking chair to use for your Barbie dolls, for your home setup. Maybe even, I don't think you could set that out on the street to save your parking no, no. space, but it's adorable. This is, Phil, this is from Lawrenceville Distilling. Yeah, so they are brand new, legit, just open. The way is open to taste and buy the parking chair vodka. They're working on absinthe now, but I love the fact that they're in Lawrenceville, so if you don't want to cross a bridge, you don't have to. There you, there you go. And Quantum Spirits in Carnegie is also another option if you want to give the gift of booze. And like I said, no crossing bridges, so I did right. something for the east, something for the south. So Quantum just opened actually this year as well. They are specializing in the science of distilling. Oh. So they use a lot of technology with their distilling process, and they have a barrel-aged gin, and then they also have a vodka, one vodka that's just the plain vodka, and then a citrus vodka. And what is this? This is the habanero uh, bitters. So you can add it to Bloody Marys. You can add it to um, a Moscow Mule. You can add it even, they said, to your eggs in the morning. And it has a little kick. Spice things up. Yes. Okay, so maybe you're going somewhere where there's a coffee or a tea lover. Like me, I love tea. Mm -hmm. And I love the idea of giving tea or coffee because I think people have a particular style that they like. So surprise them with something local. So defer. In the Strip is a, again, a newer place. I love to, the fact that we have all these great new places. And it's European style, so they actually roast their own coffee beans, so you can get a variety of different coffee beans for people. They even have a light up night one, which I love the name of that. And then they have tea as well that they uh, mix the leaves in house. And they have accessories too, so they have walls and walls of tea and coffee accessories, so you can really stock your tea lover up. Even get a little candle. And that smells Amazing. What and what is this? this it's one a is? butter. It's a lemon, lemon butter, butter mint. mint. Yeah. Ooh. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, I'm that in. That does smell amazing. Okay, Mediterra Cafe. So gotta, you gotta love some good bread to bring. Mediterra has made a name for themselves. They've been around for 15 years, supplying bread to a lot of different local restaurants, mm -hmm. and now they have this amazing beautiful cafe in Sewickley just open and they sell again breads olive oils it's truly an Italian style cafe because they import all of these in so you can please your Italian so relatives yes yeah, so this is a bread I love the fact that it's in this cute little uh, package that you can bring for a hostess gift and this is a brioche style bread and then this is actually you were saying fruit cake so this is an Italian style fruit cake that you serve after dinner with a dessert wine and then olive oil imported from Italy and we love what you pick next the milkshake factory one of our favorite guests that we have on PTL they, and they are so much fun stuff. rapidly expanding too mm -hmm. so the cool thing is if you're downtown if you're in newly opened East Liberty if you're in the south side which is the original and soon to be Oakland you can hit up I don't think people realize not only do they have delicious milkshakes but they also have chocolate so you can hit up the chocolate bar and grab something delicious to take with you to a party or you can just eat yourself keep you know? it for yourself yeah, and you brought some yourself. peppermint bark. so peppermint bark and then these little trees that Look have chocolate inside and then I love this this is a chocolate covered gingerbread man. <laughs> So I love that you can um, get a tradition of Christmas and it's covered in chocolate. And they have this the great penguin. partnership now with Puck. the penguins, right? Yes, at, actually, yeah, you can go to PPG Paints and get a penguin puck for eating Jake's chocolate. Jake's Shake, it's, yes. all, it's all from Jake's Shake. Well, thank you so much. Great options and suggestions for us. Yeah, Merry Christmas Merry and Christmas. happy local shopping. I know, that's what we have to do. Keep it local. Get your parking chair, vodka. Yes, and the parking chair. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> for more good ideas on edible food and drinks for gifts this holiday season or anytime, you can go to kdka.com slash PTL. We'll have a link to Yelp Pittsburgh posted for you there.